Ya empecé esa ahí. Hello, Ninive. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How's it going? <laughs> good. Good, good, good. A little cold? <laughs> yeah, it's really it's cold. cold. It's very cold. <laughs> Actually, the weather is crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, not all of them. Not all of the Decembers are so cold. I actually had some time without okay. experiencing a, a December as cold as this. Okay, you were okay. not you were not in the class yesterday, right? No, no, yesterday. Okay. Really, I have many days that I can. <laughs> Inside the club, but I will try to uh, finish good <laughs> this week. <laughs> yeah, we have to we have to finish the platform and be on the classroom. You know, it's very important to be on the class. Hi, Violeta. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm just a little tired because they were repairing the house and <sighs> house improvement improvements. Improvement. Oh, it's floating. You know what is floating? Floating? Yes. Yes. Oh. I know. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to. Uh, I want to die, you know, right now. It's crazy. It's a lot of work. Um, we thought it was a small problem, but uh -uh. it's a huge problem. When the you thing... start scarving, you're going to yeah, the notice. Thing is that... <laughs> this this house has a very old uh, founding, you know, the plumbery. 
it's the plumber is made old school so you have a little tube and then you have a box and then you have another tube and then you have another box so they they used a very thick uh, no a very uh, thin a very thin pvc tube and they were supposed to use a four a four inches tube and they use a two inches tube you know for the disposal water oh this is crazy so my whole bathroom has no floor right now and the um dining room the dining room we had to go there and open another hole but we cannot find the tube we cannot find a tube oh my god it's crazy so i don't know what we're gonna do and a lot of money but anyways Let's leave the negative stuff. Yeah, let's move on. So I want you to help me here. Um, this, I, w I've, I have been reading about this topic, you know, about the causative verbs that we're using here. Yesterday, uh, we talked about have and get to talk in active voice and passive voice. Now, I want you to see the following examples. I'm going to use a little bit of combination, you know, Spanglish here to make this clear. So first, have you heard this way of speaking that we use all the time? Boy, a que me arreglen el coche, right? The mechanic, okay? So there you're using have or get my car fixed by someone. Okay, get my hair cut. Okay, I'm going to get my hair cut. Okay, I'm going to get my eyes checked. When you speak, it's very common to use get instead of have. I'm going to have my eyes checked. And the, this is the form you use. I'm sorry, I just bit my tongue. Ouch. Okay, so <laughs> this is the way you speak when you want someone else to do something for you, okay? That's what we were doing yesterday. So these are very clear examples. This is the structure, okay? I'm going to have, I'm going to get, I'm going to have, I'm going to get something, something, an object, which in this case is my car, my hair, my eyes, and then we have the past participle of the verb. That's the passive voice. So for the causative, the causative goes in this sense. It's us who get benefited of an action um, that we do in person, uh, but on the opposite, that we sent a third person to do it for us. We have someone else to do it for us. If we want it to be clear or to live clear who does the action, we will just add, as we said before, with the structure by, you know, we will say by someone. So um, it will be, I'm going to have my car fixed by the mechanic. Okay, I'll get, or I'm going to get my hair cut by the hairdresser, right? By the hairdresser. I'll get my eyes checked by the oculist. I think that's the word. Okay, so far so good. Is that clear? Okay, so now we have two phrases so we can compare them. He repair his car. He did it by himself. By himself, he repaired his car with his hands. Okay. It's different if I say he had his car repaired. And this, the doer is optional on the passive voice. Remember, he had his car repaired. He didn't repair it by himself. It was the mechanic who did it. Okay. Now, have and get in this context have the same meaning. Get, as I was telling you, is more frequent on speaking. 
and in imperative forms, okay, in imperative forms. Uh, for example, let's look at the very clear example. How do you say to your, how do you tell your kids, vayan a vestirse? It's an imperative, how do you say it? Get dressed. Get dressed. Exactly, it's passive. You see, that's basically an imperative, get dressed. Remember, dressed goes on the um, past participle form, right? So get dressed. Okay. Yes, get your ED. ED, right? Uh huh. Get your hair cut. Now, I wanted you to check something so you can think beyond, beyond how do you conjugate uh, this? How do you use the, the grammar tenses? So, uh, so far, it looks simple but everything gets complicated when we talk about the grammar tenses, okay? Grammar tenses. Um, this form can be used in the different tenses, but obviously uh, it continues using the regular, you know, um, norms and regular forms or grammar. So let's not get complicated. If we know the, the difference, of the different times or tenses we use and their uses. So there's no problem at all. This is the structure and it's the same thing. As I have always told you, identify the auxiliary that you're using. So in this case, what is this grammar tense? They're having, what is the grammar tense? Present, present continuous. continue. You got it. Present continuous. So they're having their windows cleaned now. Max, how will you translate that to Spanish? They're having their clean their windows cleaned now. Um, en este momento les están lavando las ventanas. Yeah. Simple. Oh. Mm -hmm. Les limpiaron las ventanas ahora. Hmm, that's past. That's the idea. <laughs> That's right. Their windows are getting cleaned. They're having their windows cleaned now. It's the same thing. They they aren't having their windows cleaned now. That is just pressing continuous negative. Right. And then again, you move the auxiliary to the beginning, which in this case, present continuous is the verb to be. Are they having their windows cleaned now? And here you have a whole list of examples using all the grammar tenses or almost all of them. Let's see, present simple, I have my car repaired. I get my car repaired at Mario's, for example. I had my car repaired. I got my car repaired. And here you will be saying, me repararon el carro. I'm interested, I'm interested in the last one, the imperative. It's like when in, I don't know, maybe you wreck my car. I'll tell you how my car repaired. Have my car repaired, yes. That's an imperative. Remember the imperatives are like commands, right? You're, you're giving orders to someone. Sometimes they are, you may be polite, sometimes not. You can add the word please here. Have my car repaired, please. When okay. you demand something. You demand someone to do something. When you demand something from someone, yes. That's imperative. It's a must. Um, okay, do you have any questions with this grammar tenses? We've been studying those grammar tenses, so. What? There must be problems with that. There must be problems with the, uh, what? With the grammar tenses? There must be no problems. We have yeah. been studying grammar tenses. Yeah, all of those. For more than one month. Yes. Okay. Now, be careful with models, okay? I must have my car repaired. 
debo reparar mi auto. Uh, not me. I'm not saying that I will do it. I'm saying that I must have someone repair my car. I will be having my car repaired. Okay. Now, causative also has another use. If we want to refer to a fact, uh, an uncomfortable fact, let's say, that has happened to someone um, with any of their belongings, their belongings, uh, we will use this structure have plus the object plus the participle. It's the same thing. She had her mobile phone stolen last night. She had her mobile phone stolen last night. How would you say it in active voice? You will say they stolen her cell phone, right? They stolen her cell phone. Who? I don't know, but someone stolen her cell phone. Okay, it's different. Questions? Again, no questions, okay. Let me just give you some examples um, so you can try to work on them. Some other examples. Okay, so as we said yesterday, I must get or have my hair cut. Someone else needs to cut my hair. When are you going to get that window mended? When are you going, future, to get that window mended? Question, am I repairing the window or is someone else doing it for me? Who is repairing my window? Me or someone else? Someone asking, someone someone else. asking you. Exactly someone the same. Asking. Someone else, yeah, exactly. Someone is asking me if when will I have someone repairing my window? Okay, we're having the house painted. Are we doing it or is someone coming? Someone's coming. Someone's coming, thank you, Max. So now it's a very first something negative or unwanted. As we said, Jim had his car stolen last night. Jim's car was stolen. He didn't stole it by himself. They had the roof blown off in the storm. Their roof was blown off in the storm. This is a clear example. Okay, completed an activity. Now I have for you some examples here. So if you could try, the first example is, puedes reparar tu guitarra en Radio Shack. Want us to do it? Yeah, go ahead, translate to You active. get to fix your guitar. Okay, again. You get fix. Like that? Get fix. Yes. Uh, your no. Hmm. You. You get fix. The guitar. In radio check. Can I? Yes, please. You can get your guitar fixed or repaired at Radio Shack. Yes, it's yours, right? You can get your guitar, let's say, fixed. Or repair. Or repair at Radio Shack. Okay, what about the second way? Puedes hacer que Radio Shack repare tu guitarra. Okay. You were not in class yesterday, right? No. You're doing good. Mm -hmm. This is passive voice. So now, what used to be the object, Max, remember? Comes. I know, I know how, how to do it. Okay. Good. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm figuring out. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Radio Shack can get your guitar fixed. Close. Or something like that. Close. Uh, Violeta, anybody else? Your guitar can be fixed at Radio Shack. Excellent. Okay. So, again, your guitar can get fixed. Now, up to here, that's the positive voice. Remember that sometimes it doesn't matter the doer or who's going to do it in this case for you. So, your guitar can get fixed by Radio Shack or at Radio Shack. Doesn't matter. It's the doer. Your guitar can get fixed by Radio Shack. Okay. And that's the passive voice uh, using causative verbs stating who's going to do it for you or not. Okay, next, su coche fue robado. Just a translation. Yes, please go ahead. Now, a clue this is. This, go ahead. His car was stolen. Yeah. His? Yeah, well, his car was stolen. stolen. Okay, his car was stolen. And this is what? Active, right? That's active voice. What about passive voice? He got hmm. his car stolen. He has been. Mm, where is the bean? No, no. He has stolen. He has he has stolen his car last night. Okay, now there I'm saying él ha robado su carro anoche. Hmm. Él ha robado su carro anoche. Mm. Okay. He had his car stolen. There you go. He had his car stolen. Last night. And where is last night? Well, just adding something. In the active, <laughs> in the active voice. It's a good job in the last, in the last. Example on the previous. Uh, yeah. Right, this is the same example. He had his car stolen. So someone else stolen his car. Good, next. Voy a, voy a que me revisen la vista. To say revisar la vista, you say get um, your eyes checked. Your eyes check. I'm going to... My check my eyes. I'm going to check my eyes. This is the active voice. I'm going to I'm check going my to eyes. My eyes checked. Come again, Max. I'm going, I'm going to have my eyes checked. Like that, exactly. I'm going to have my eyes checked. Okay. Voy a que me revisen la vista. Le voy a revisar la vista. Okay. And the last one. Él reparó su coche. He fixed, he fixed your car. He fixed his. His car. Okay. Who did it? Who performed the action? He fixed this car. Himself. Himself. Perfect. Now, if you have someone else, 
in this case, the mechanic repairing your car. Mm -hmm. Passive voice. Okay. Try it, try it. Don't be scared to fail. Don't be afraid of failure. Okay, he had or he got his car repaired. He had his car repaired by the mechanic, if you want. He had his car repaired by the mechanic. He got his car repaired by the mechanic. And again, the doer doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who does the action. So you wanna check all this, watch the video again, check the examples, try to find any mistakes maybe. I don't know, but this is the way we were studying yesterday. We, I have a question. Yes, please. We have we have to use the verb in past, had and got? If or... it is in past, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for the question. I was waiting for someone to make that question. <laughs> and that's the whole point, you see? You can conjugate you can actually conjugate and you must conjugate um, the verbs. I will be having, must have, will have, I have had, look at that, past perfect. I have had my car repair. I have had, present, perfect, past, continuous, present, continuous, okay? Past simple, okay? So if you had she here, she has, mm -hmm. she has repaired, no, she has her car repaired. And that will be present simple. So let's continue studying this, uh, watch the video, Jessica's video um, as many times as needed so we can get closer to perfection. Remember, nobody's perfect, but if you study these parts, you will be getting the hand of it very soon. So what's in it? What's in it for today? We have three word phrasal verbs. Oh my God. Three words phrasal verbs. Do you remember phrasal verbs? Can somebody give me an example of a phrasal verb? And we have a, okay, Violeta, thank you. My friends and I keep up with friendship since 25 years ago. <gasps> Carlos came up with the idea to have a hardware store for the next year. You're looking forward to planning the wedding for the next year. Excellent. Thank you, Violeta. Awesome examples. Okay. Let's move on. Let's see. I haven't even checked this video. Let's see. Hi. As you know and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words phrasal verbs that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. Stay at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. 
Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Be excited for something to happen. End a romantic relationship. Keep pace with someone or something. Tolerate something you don't like. Reduce the quantity of something. Have a beginning right. Okay. Now I need your help. Let's find sense to these phrasal verbs together. So what did you understand by broken up with? To break up with. When you put N, N to something. When you Some, finish a relationship. When you finish a relationship. Could it be the way Violetta said? When you finish something, when you... When you end it. When you end, but, but not a relationship. Uh, for example, when you ended a project, you broke up the project. Oh, really? Broken I don't, I, I think. Mm, no, actually I will say Violetta is exactly. It's I, only in relationships. Yes, it's only for relationships. With persons. With people, yeah. With pe people. <laughs> yeah, when they, like when you broke up with, but uh, in a business relationship, for example, well. you can say that could be. Although it is not so, I mean, in a professional manner, that wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs> Among presidents, you know, in Salvador and the United States, just broken up relationships, broken up with their thirty years relationships. <laughs> so it's like. I mean, you're you're breaking up with someone. You're sending someone to, you know, where, right? So that's that's the meaning of breaking up, break up, broken up with someone. Okay, good. Came up with. I think Violetta knows the answer. What is came up with? This weather is killing me right now. Uh huh come up with who can come up with the meaning of came up with I know the meaning but I can't explain it it's like when you we have a reunion and I have an excellent idea I came up with an idea for you came up with an idea that's right or yeah it's typically an idea you came up with that. You can even use it as an expression. I mean, we're all happy, you know, and you came up with that attitude. What's wrong with you? See, you came up with that attitude. You ruined the party. Wow. Okay, you got it? So it's like, it's like in Spanish you say, y vos salís con eso. Salís con esa idea, salís con esa actitud, salís con esto, right? Out of nowhere, you come up with something. Got it. An idea and an attitude. Looking forward to. Easy. You can use that phrase when you're expecting something, when you're eager for something. For example? For example... Uh, Christmas bonus. I'm looking forward Christmas bonus. Mm, I'm looking forward to get. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to, to get, get my Christmas bonus. bonus. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Like a wish. Uh huh. Uh, uh, right. Expect. I'm not expecting to get something. I'm not. I'm expecting to. Okay. But as my as Max said, when you're eager. To really get that, or you are not eager, excited to get that. Good. Cut down. By the way, it's cut, cut, okay, cut down on, not cut or cut, cut down on. You have to cut down the pastries. Pastries. 
this shirt that I'm wearing is revealing to me that I need to cut down on grease, on sugar, and many other things. I really fell down today when I went to teach. I felt like a chorizo amarrado, I swear. Because I hadn't wear, I haven't, I hadn't worn this shirt for a long time. And now look at it. You can see my well, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> I know. Thank you. What I don't understand what is going down, teacher. It's like a mesh or something. When you, for example, if you're too fat like me, you need to cut down on sugar. You need to cut down on on greasy food. You need to put on weight. Okay. To cut down is to reduce, to reduce something. Okay. Cut down on your expenses. How much money you spent. Okay, cut down on your expenses. Okay, got it? Vadi is very quiet tonight. I thank you. Something like a person, not teacher, only objects. I will say objects. For a uh, person or situations, mm -hmm. you, need, uh -huh. you need to cut down on your visits to the neighbor, Vadi. Uh -huh. Stop visiting your neighbor. She's not a good friend. You need to cut um, down on her, on the visitings. You know, stop doing that. I use some, ah, thank you. Now, keep up with, is that the opposite to cut down on in that last example? Keep up with? Mm -hmm. Okay, synonyms, continue with. Keep up with the good job. We need to keep up with our conversation last week, remember? So we need to keep up studying, keep up with following up our studies, okay. To put up with, what is it to put up with? No, Greta, no? Okay. <laughs> what is it? To, you know the meaning, what is it? It's like when you you tolerate something. When you need to get along with someone or something, a situation, you need to put up with uh, with Violetta, Max. You are always arguing, so you need to put up with her. Okay, get along. That's right. Oh, and there you have the next example. Get along with someone. Now, put up with is like forgiving, let's say. You need to forgive that person and, and hacer las paces. How do you say that in English? Make peace? I believe it's like accepting someone. Mm -hmm. Just by the way she or he is, put yeah. up with him. Put up with him. Matter if it bugs you, you have to Aceptar put up with him. Exactly, to accept, to tolerate. Put up with. To put up with someone. Aceptar someone. a alguien. Exactly. Think it's the same as get along with. You need to get well with that person, get along with someone. And the last one, take care of. Okay, I you need to take care of what your health. Take care simple. of your health, take care of your son, take care of your daughter, take care of your house. So, what is take care of? Yeah, caring, that's right. You need to care protect about something. protect some, someone or something, exactly. And let's look at the examples they were given. Those are very good examples. Um, so Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Okay. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. Okay. I'm not looking forward to type in my essay, maybe I'll get it done professionally. So I'll get someone else to do it for me, maybe professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down 
on my fatty foods. A lot of fatty foods. Mm -mm. Okay. Rav, now listen. This is a clear example. Let's say Rafael can keep up with the students in his English class. He should get a tutor. <gasps> in that case, sounds like this guy. Can... Mandarin. He's being left behind. Exactly. Right. Just like Max with some examples. And I go like, what? Right? Same way. <laughs> it's the same exact example. Now, in this case, Rob is a teacher. Okay. He speaks English. But the students speak Mandarin. So he's like not understanding when they speak. Right? So he can keep up with them. Um, this is like he's not getting the hand of it, you know, regarding language. There is a language barrier. There is a language barrier. That's why he needs a tutor. He needs a tutor to help him understanding the students. Okay. Is that clear? No les agarra la onda a los estudiantes. He can keep up with. That's like the main meaning. Okay. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. Tolerate. That's the one that means tolerate. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'm tired of it. I'll have to move. Can't deal with this anymore. Can't put up with. Can I say I can't put up with you anymore? I will use, I can't stand you. Yeah, can't stand you anymore. Perfect. Okay. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. They don't get along. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. So if we're going to use put, put up with, uh, we have to use it a negative always we can use it affirmative yes you can do it let's say that i'm telling you violetta you can't put up with your students anymore i know you're tired of your kindergarten kids you just can't put up with them anymore and you tell me yes i can put up with them i can do it i'm a great teacher i can put up with them <laughs> and the affirmation. Okay. Bill can take care of his own finances. He can't take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Okay. So take care of. Cuidar. Now let's look at the chart and see how we will put this together. So <clears throat> be excited for something to happen. What is that? Max said, be oh. eager. That look forward for something. Mm -hmm. Look forward to. Good. Okay. So that's look forward to. What about and a romantic relationship. <laughs> uh huh. Vadi, Elvis, Jarvin, Madeline. Where's Madeline? Oh my God, we're only five. Broken up with. Yep. Okay. Good. Keep up. I'm sorry, keep pace with someone or something to keep your pace. What was the one that meant to deal with someone? Keep up with. There you go. You can keep up with your students. Okay, 
tolerate something you don't like. Mm -hmm. Go down. Again, buddy. Go down. Cut down. Cut down. On. Oh, wait. No, but we are on tolerate something you don't like. Mm -hmm. What you're saying, buddy, is cut down with. Was it cut down? Cut down, put down with. Oh. Put down. I'm sorry, I got lost. Is it cut down? Or. Uh -huh, yes, yeah. Okay, cut down. Was it with? Cut down with tolerate. So no, wait. No. that is uh, reduce the quantity of something. Uh, yes. is, is the cut with. down. Cut down with carbure. Okay. Uh, what is tolerate something you don't like? Put up. Put on. You have put to put up. put up with put up put up you have to put up with put up. tolerate okay up. have a good relationship with someone come on that's easy what was it get along get along with be responsible for something Uh, the last sentence looks. Teacher. There's a what typo is... there. Come on, get, get Max. Alone. Get alone. You wrote get alone. Oh, I forgot. Alone. What is yeah, get sorry. alone, teacher? <laughs> Quedarse solo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Alone is solo. Sorry. So get alone. Get alone. <laughs> like that, right? Alone. No, it's alone. Get alone is quedarse solo. Mm -mm, get alone is quedarse solo. Get, oh, a, get okay. along with yeah. G at the end. Yeah, thank you. Y... Get along with someone is to do well with someone else. To have a good relationship with someone. Now, what is it to be responsible for something? to take care of. And the last one, think of something, develop an idea. Came up with. Remember, this is in past, right? You have, you can say, come up with, come up with an idea. Okay. Good, we're only missing 47 minutes. Let me, I'm sorry, 13 minutes. Can somebody give me more examples uh, using this three parts phrasal verbs? And remember, you can always conjugate in different tenses the phrasal verbs. Just keep in mind which one is the verb that you're going to modify. So in look forward to, you need to modify the verb, right? Broken up with, broken, keep up with, okay, put up, put, cut, always look for the verb in order to uh, change it to a different grammar tense. Okay, so give me an idea, give me, uh, hit me up. Come on. <laughs> Come on, hit me. Uh-huh. Give me an example. Let's go with look forward to. In future. Christmas is coming. Mm -hmm. 
looking forward to Christmas, for Christmas vacation. For Christmas vacation. I'm looking forward for Christmas vacation. It's very good. I'm looking forward to eat. Um, and I keep talking about eating. Oh my God. I keep, <laughs> I'm looking forward to eat turkey, right? To eat pork. I'm looking forward to sleep the whole day. Yes. Okay. I'm looking forward to put the vacuna. How do you say it's a vacuna? To put the vaccine, to put the injection, the shot. Injection. The shot. COVID. COVID shot. Really? Shot. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm okay without that. I'm okay. Se aguante todo lo anterior, el chiqui, la, la chiqui, el zika, medio COVID. Ya tengo suficiente carbón en los pulmones. Good filters. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go with the next one. Uh, break up with. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you break up with your brother? No. no? Okay, can you break up with your mother? No? Okay, just a relationship, right? Okay. But it says romantic relationship. So Exactly, just me. just a rom romantic relationship. Very good. What about keep up with? Keep up with the Kardashians? Keeping up with the Kardashians? <laughs> Never seen that series. I was not here yesterday, so I'm trying to keep up with you. Excellent. Good. Put up with. I need to put up with the fact of having so few students in this class. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. We're too few. Okay. Cut down with, okay, easy, cut down with. Elvis, Buddy, Violeta, Max. I have to cut down the junky food. Junk food, junk food, junk food. Yeah, I have to cut down junk food. Okay. Buddy, get along with. Mm. get along with your wife i don't know yeah you need to get along with your wife i mean there's no way around there's no way around that you need to get along with them or you have to break up with her or you have to break up with her after covid you know in the whole quarantine after two months being in the house Enclustrated with my whole family, I told him, I think you like me, guys. I'm getting to know you. <laughs> and they were like, what? <laughs> I mean, it's just that I have always worked from Monday through Sunday, you know, from 5 a.m. until 11 p.m. So they never, they didn't used to see me around, you know, and I didn't used to place that much with the kids and everything. So for 90 days, right? Three months or even more. We spent together at the house. So we, we finally got along together. So we got along together. That sounds weird. Okay. And now I'm taking care. I'm taking care of the kids. What about you? Are, what are you taking care of? I take care. I take care of when I drive I take care of my driving. Mm, can you take care of, yeah? No, no, that will be good. I'm being careful with my driving. I'm taking care of my- I have to take care of my daughter. How was it? Uh, is, she, is she alive? Yeah, <laughs> I have to take care of her. She has, um, <laughs> I, and you want to, 
urinary tract infection? That's the result of you taking care of her or she was sick already? <laughs> That's why I, why I had to take care of oh, her. Oh, I had to take, I had to take. Okay, good, really. Uh, I, I she, took care of her, sorry. Good, is she good? Can, can... She better? Yeah. Excellent. Uh -huh, buddy? We can, can we say take care with your body or your waist <laughs> with your obesity? No. Take care of your body, yes. Uh, take care of your obesity is mm -hmm. like take good care of it, you know, <laughs> no. love it, <laughs> accept it. Yeah, there's no other mm -hmm. way around. Oh my God. I don't know, the weight. Yes. Um, Cuidar de tu panza, cuidar de tu obesidad. <laughs> no, no te sé. O sea, cuidarte como de la obesidad. Positive. No. <laughs> take care of your health. Ajá, uh -huh, take care of your health. Your of your body, uh -huh. yeah. Your body. Yep. Take care with the uh, extra weight. Mm. Then you say be careful with. Be careful with your overweight. Be careful with the, what you Can eat. You something like, uh, I have to keep an eye. Keep an eye on your food. Keep an eye on what you eat. Exactly, there you go. Okay, and last one came up with, what is something that you always come up with? What is something that you always come up with when you're in a meeting, when you are, for example, I usually ruin the romantic moments. I usually ruined the romantic moments because I go like, <laughs> and I was like, sorry, <laughs> right? Is I that... always ruin the pictures. Oh, really? That's yes. you? Oh my God! Everybody has uh, has the position like this, and, uh -huh, you right. went, ah! <laughs> and I was. Ah! You always or come something, up. Something or someone is taking. Yes, uh, everybody is is taking a picture, and I came like. Oh. You come up with <laughs> the first plane. <laughs> you come up with your weird poses. Yes. You come up with your. Weird pauses. Okay, yeah, everybody has an attitude. Okay, guys, this was easy. This was just phrasal verbs. Make sure you go to the um, forum underneath the video and then just leave your comments. If you want, you can answer this. Um, okay, now choose three words, three word phrasal verbs um, from the list and make your own examples. That's a task you can have underneath the um, the video on the discussion forum okay well i hope i see you tomorrow at the same time at eight o'clock so we can continue with this section okay good night to the four of you thank We're you keeping for being up <laughs> please keep up with me take care guys good night <laughs> bye bye good night bye bye good night teacher. good night <laughs>